Hello and welcome in this new video, hope you're doing good, hope your day is great and stay because you are going to discover the new features of Airflow 2.4. My name is Mark Lamati, I'm the head of customer education at Astronomer, best-selling instructor on Udemy and if you want to stay up to date with Airflow, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that will help me a lot and obviously smash the like button if you want to see more videos like that. Without further ado, let's dive into the new features of Airflow 2.4. A simple but useful feature of Airflow 2.4 is the auto refresh button on the DAX view. Now you can follow the states of your active DAGs without having to refresh the entire page. Another cool feature that improves DAG authoring is that as DAG is not required anymore. Before 2.4 you had to do that, now you can just instantiate a DAG like that and that's it you are ready to define your tasks just below. You can modify that behavior if you want by setting auto register to false in the DAG definition object. Another update is that scheduling interval becomes scheduled. Don't worry, your DAGs are still going to work on 2.4, but scheduling interval is getting deprecated. Why? Because now with Airflow 2.4, you can schedule your DAGs with time delta objects, with cron expressions, with time tables, and the biggest new feature of Airflow 2.4, data sets. Let me show you what are data sets. Suppose you have the DAG on the left that runs every day at midnight and it updates file underscore A. Nothing new here. But now what if you want to trigger the DAG on the right when file underscore A is updated by the DAG on the left? Before 2.4, you had to use the trigger DAG1 operator or the external task sensor to do that. But guess what? With 2.4, you don't have to do that anymore you can schedule your DAGs based on dataset updates. Basically, the DAG on the left updates file underscore A that triggers the DAG on the right. And the schedule for that DAG is dataset file underscore A. Let me show you how to implement that. Let's say you have two DAGs, consumer and producer. You define a dataset. A dataset is nothing more than a logical group of data and it expects the location of your data. Here, a local file, but it could be a file on a shared file system like F3. Just below, we define the DAG with the DAG ID, the schedule, and not the schedule interval. As you can see, it runs every day at midnight, the start date, the catch-up parameter, and we define the first task. Here, it is important to know that you have to define outlets with the dataset to indicate that this task updates the dataset, as defined here. So now, just below, we open the file myfile.txt as defined in the dataset and we add the following line. Then we execute the task. To sum up, first you define the dataset and the location of the file, then you indicate what tasks update the dataset by defining the parameter outlets with your dataset. And now we can take a look at the consumer DAG. We define the same dataset for myfile.txt and the schedule is now not time-based but dataset based. It is a data-aware scheduled DAG. As you can see, we specify dataset as the scheduled parameter of the data pipeline. That means when the producer DAG updates myfile.txt, that triggers the DAG consumer. Let me show you those two DAGs in action. On the DAGs view, you can see the consumer has the scheduled dataset and the next run datasets updated. That means it depends on when the dataset is updated. Just below, you have the producer with the schedule at daily, nothing new here. Now, there is a new item on the menu, which is datasets. If you click on it, you can see the list of all datasets that are defined across all of your data pipelines. But if you click on the dataset you want, myfile.txt, you can clearly see that the DAG producer updates the dataset myfile.txt that triggers the DAG consumer. Let's go back to the DAGs view, turn on the toggle of the consumer, turn on the toggle of the producer, let's refresh the page, and if we wait a little bit, you can see that consumer has been successfully triggered when the producer DAG has updated the dataset myfile.txt. Now from 2.4 you're able to make data aware scheduled data pipelines, which is truly a game changing feature. If you want to learn more about that feature, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be glad to create a video dedicated about that incredible feature. If you want to make your DAGs easier to read and faster to write, decorators are very useful for that. And guess what? In 2.4 you have two new decorators, one for the short circuit operator, as you can see here, it is as simple as that, and you have the Kubernetes 
pod operator as shown here. You specify the parameters and you define what you want to do in your Kubernetes pod just below. Also, a very awaited feature is the fact that now you can wait for task group to complete in the external task sensor. As you can see, in parent DAG, you have a task group with the ID parent group, and in the target DAG, you have the external task sensor with a new parameter external task group ID that waits for the task group with the ID parent group. And now you can wait for a task group to complete before executing the next tasks. Finally, a couple updates for dynamic task mapping. If you don't know what is dynamic task mapping, think of it as a way to generate tasks based on unknown inputs, like a list of files that can change every day. You have three new methods for dynamic task mapping, expand kwags to assign multiple parameters to a non-task flow operator, zip to combine multiple things without cross product, and finally map to transform the parameters just before the task is run. I know it's not that useful to explain you exactly what you can read here, but I will make a dedicated video for dynamic task mapping very soon, as it is a pretty complex topic, but extremely powerful. Now, if you want to run Airflow 2.4 on your computer, you just need to install Docker and run the following two commands, and you will be able to try 2.4 on your machine. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that video. 2.4 is just amazing. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a wonderful day. Take care and see you soon.